Uh, nice cool morning here this morning. Too bad out, I guess. Just getting geared up to go uh, spread manure. Got some. Uh, uh, we'll let everything run here in a few minutes. Gonna warm up some. I got. Oh, uh, well, this manure pile I cleaned out of the barn there last fall, but uh, I guess it was must have been in the spring. I moved this rock wall that was all out of here. I guess I had a dozing video on there. The old dozer there, and. Uh, I was going to be putting up a, a new heifer barn. So I bought a, uh, a barn, I guess, in the spring. So I should have had it moved, oh, a month or two ago. But you know how it goes. It doesn't always work like you want it to. So uh, anyways, i got to clear this spot back off. It's an ignore out of here, move this stuff, bring in some gravel, level it, so I can take this barn down in sections, and then I'm going to set it back up here. It's just like an open-faced barn. I think it's uh, 18 by, I don't know, it's 18 by 70 or 18 by 80. I can't recall, but anyways, it's, it's a decent size, enough that I can put in some equipment on one side and I can, you know, pin off the other side and, and uh, put heifers in it. So uh, I like get this here all cleaned up. We got some rain coming, but I'm just going to haul a few loads more than I started hauling yesterday. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, gonna take, run the kids up to the fair. Uh, they got the exhibition going here now, so there'll be some animals and stuff there. So. Yeah, no, I uh, so that's what I done was I thought there was a bit of a low spot right in here, and uh, I filled that in with the rocks that rose out of rock wall, and then just kind of leveled it just half fast really. Uh, I guess that was last. Yeah, that was that was last so over a year ago, probably a year and a half ago with the intentions of doing this so anyhow i ended up buying this barn and then i bought uh i guess it's a big horse barn uh nice barn actually but it's gonna be not as easy to move this one here i'm gonna the lean to one i have like a high hab crane i'm gonna put on my gooseneck trailer and then i can go down i can take it apart in pieces and then set it on the trailer and then load wagons then come back over and and uh, put it back up so I want to be able to take it down and put it back up all the same, same stage really. Without uh, once you start laying things around and you don't get to, you forget where they went or they just start rotting and it's just a mess. So anyhow, this one here is actually a really nice shape. It's just a fellow, a friend of mine. He actually passed away. So when they sold off his equipment and stuff, I bought the barns. So yeah, that's. Uh, just how it goes but then i gotta run a water line so i got an old ford backhoe here i haven't had it going for a long time i gotta go uh, tackle that here shortly get a battery and see if i can get it going usually them on gas jobs pretty easy to going but then i'll run a water line and i want to be able to run power and everything right up through here so so we're not going to get too fancy with concrete this year i just need to be able to get it enough that i can get it up uh get some equipment in it even for this year and then uh, uh, next summer or spring I'm gonna try to set some money away from my cows there and run some concrete but not saying I'm not gonna run any but I might run a little tiny bit I don't know but not gonna be running the whole whole thing in concrete that's for sure not at this time so yeah that's what I'm up to but this was all bed just like uh, you know just like a big straw pack but it was at the barn there was a lot of it uh, rotted down some of the old straw has kind of rotted out so just trying to get it on some pasture ground and then i'll put some of that uh that uh you know that dried kelp on it there too uh, this is my old uh lime spreader i built it's all, it's all hydraulic yeah got i took the pump off like a truck that's the tank and stuff there flow control 
runs off 1000 PTO. Works really well, actually, so it's all hydraulic they control. I've uh, been running that for years, so that's why I put down my uh, my uh, wood ash with and lime. I spread lime with it too. Uh, just an old salt body, and uh, like I say, everything's all hydraulic on it. Old salt body and off the truck. I got the screener on it. The worst trouble with this one here is if you get like big pieces of sod, it'll jam up on these your beer. They say they're made more sand. So basically, you run your door low speed your chain out just to kind of get the same volume down but it works really well I mean you get pretty good spread on it so, yeah I gotta hook on it and drag it away here's what I do I know she spread a lot of wood ash you know a couple hundred ton every year I built that put it together I don't know a long time ago now she's been years time goes fast so yeah I'm going to load a few loads, and that's why I can say I did something, and take the kids to the fair. So, we'll talk at you later.